So recently the Pi Zero W came out. It's a Pi Zero but with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities. The Wi-Fi antenna is built right into the PCB and it's meant to be some really new, clever, innovative design. The range on it is good enough for most projects, but my guess is that it just won't compare to an external, much bigger antenna. So here I'm going to show you how you can natively use a much more powerful antenna on your Pi Zero W right after these words. Malduino is an open source Arduino based bad USB. You can use it to inject keystrokes at lightning speed, gain a shell, change someone's desktop wallpaper, anything you can do with a keyboard and 15 minutes of your time, Malduino can do in a matter of seconds. To find out more, see the Indiegogo link in the description. For this mod, you will need a UFL SMD connector, a corresponding cable and a 2.4 gigahertz antenna. I'll put the links to everything you'll need right in the description. So if we look at the Pi itself, you can see that the antenna is here and there's a small trace running from it which connects it to the rest of the Pi. So if we follow that trace through, you can see it goes through a small resistor here and then off to the chip. So the idea is, is that we're going to desolder this resistor and rotate it 45 degrees. So instead of connecting to this antenna, we're instead going to connect to these gold pads to which we can solder on our own UFL connector right there. So then we can just connect our own antenna to this connector and use our own external antenna instead of using the internal one that comes with the Pi. So I wanted to use a soldering iron as I know not many people will have access to a hot air reflow station. However, this is where it got slightly tricky. I did manage in the end to get the resistor off. However, I pretty much destroyed it in the process as I didn't see while looking through my camera's display that it had actually gotten stuck to the iron and it cooked in the 10 seconds until I realized. However, this wasn't really too much of a big deal because I tested the resistor on my other Pi Zero and it has a value of zero ohms anyway. In other words, it's just on the Pi as a jumper wire. So I managed to solder on a wire in the gap instead of the resistor and while it worked fine, it was slightly messy. Pro tip, don't solder very small things while looking down the lens of a camera because whatever it is you're doing will come out looking absolutely horrendous, which is what has happened here. That being said, it works, there's no bridged connections, so I'm just going to run with it for this video. However, I will fix this mess in my own time. I recommend using a hot air station or hot plate for this if you have it instead of a soldering iron. So now all that needs to be done is to connect the cable and then connect that cable to my antenna and then we'll be good to go. So I thought I'd benchmark the Pi's internal antenna versus two of my own. So I'm using the smallest one I have versus the largest one I have. The largest one is about 30 centimeters long, it's eight dBi's. The smallest one, I really can not tell the specifications of it because I've just had it for ages. However, presumably because it's smaller, it's less powerful. So I proceeded to connect each of them up and do a few scans. So for each antenna, I ran this command, which essentially just returned a list of the detected wireless networks and a few details to go along with it. So for each, well, I chose four networks that they all managed to pick up and recorded a few details so we can compare the signal level. Um, the quality is rated out of 70 and the signal level, the closer this is to zero, the better. So network A uh, was quite far away, as you can see, minus 90. However, it did get better with um, the smaller antenna and then much better with the well, not much better, only marginally really, with the biggest antenna. And the same goes for network B. Uh, network C, there was a slight outlier with the smallest. It actually got worse than the built-in. However, I am going to ignore that as it doesn't really fit with the rest of the data. And for network D, which is my home network, it's very close to me, just on the desk. Each of them achieved full marks on quality, uh, which is great. However, the signal level did improve drastically with each of the better antennas. So is this mod even worth it? Well, maybe. If you want to use the Pi as an access point for some reason, then I'd say absolutely yes. Though for most projects, you'll probably just do fine with the inbuilt one. Save yourself the hassle. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down in the comments, though I'll be more likely to respond if you post your questions in my subreddit links below. I also have a Discord server if you want to chat, see the description. Remember to like this video and subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.